Hello guys, I'll show you my, uh, I don't know what these are, um, tin, tin cups, don't know, they're like, they're like coffee creamers, tea servers, I got these at Goodwill and, uh, they don't sell me anymore because, well, I bought them all, but, um, the only name I could find on one of these was this one right here, this is called, this is by a company called Empire Crafts, it's called a quadruple plate. Don't know why they called it a plate. Because it's obviously a cup. And I'm not sure what the reasoning is behind the two handles. I have another one here that has two handles on it as well. That I don't think has a marking on it. It's just too old to, to uh, even recognize. This right here is a tea server. The, uh, the hinge is broken right there, so it just comes off. You can see where the, you know, it kind of filters the tea out through those holes inside. Obviously, I don't think you can really drink out of these anymore. I wouldn't dare drink out of any of these. But, uh, this, the, the old, re you know, restaurants back in the day, uh, um, let, let me tell you something. Empire Crafts, I believe, was somewhere between the 1930s and the 1950s. But anyway, this right here, um, restaurants like Denny's and, and, and places like that used to have put their coffee creamers in these. But you don't see that anymore because coffee creamers come pre-packaged in those little, in those little plastic cups or whatever they're called. Here's another. Maybe this is a sugar bowl, possibly. That looks to be in pretty decent shape. Here's another one with the two handles on it. Yeah, wouldn't want to drink out of that. Here's a regular teacup with one handle and a little spigot at the end. I just polished this one up before I filmed this video. It was all black. I used a little bit of. Uh, metal polishing but I don't think these are tin because they're they're you know you can't you can't bend them you know but yeah that looks to be like another uh, tea server of some sorts possibly this is kind of different out of all my collections it feels lighter than the other ones. There's another uh, sugar bowl or whatever you want to call these. But yeah, that's my my ten cup collection. Uh, I wish I knew what these were called so I could check out some websites and look into the history of it. Um, I will maybe do another Google search on Empire Crafts because that was the only name on that one particular one that I was able to recognize. But uh, before I let you go, I want to show you my old Planters Peanut Tin Container. It is starting to get rusty in the bottom. I was looking for a date. Couldn't find one here. Whole cashews. Couldn't find a date. It says vacuum packed. Roasted in vegetable oil. Salt added. Pretty cool. And also, finally I want to show you is an antique jar of rubbing alcohol compound. Bilingual, something like that, for external use only, rubbing alcohol compound. That looks really old. Don't see a date on there. But that's got to be from the 1930s or so. But anyway, that's my antique collection of tin cups, saucers, creamers, whatever you want to call them. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you later.